Welcome to your spring equinox yoga practice. In this sequence, we will twist out the bad and breathe in the good. This is your time to set new intentions and get ready for a new beginning. Come to all fours on your mat. Take your arms out long in front of you, your big toes to touch, knees to the outside of the mat and sink your hips towards your heels. Slowly descend your upper body and your head towards the mat and find your breathing. Take long, slow breaths and arrive in the present moment. Think of something that no longer serves you. What is it that you can let go of today? Keep breathing long, slow breaths here in child's pose. Find your rhythm. And on every exhale, let go of something that no longer serves you. On your next inhale, slowly look up. Come back to all fours. Tuck your toes under and lift the hips all the way up to the sky for downward facing dog. Walk your feet, move your legs, stretch out the legs. And keep your hands and fingertips firmly pushed into the mat. Find stillness and take a few breaths more. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky as high as you can. Exhale, bend your knee and place your foot between your hands on the front of your mat. Come to low lunge, drop the back knee, find balance and bring your hands on your knee. Bring your upper body up, keep your legs where they are, find length in the spine, shoulders away from the ears. And if you like, find some movement. And keep the body active. On your next inhale, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee, bring your hands into prayer shape in front of your chest and take your arms up and over to the outside of your right knee. Keep your hands into prayer in front of your chest and stay here in your prayer twisted lunge. Keep breathing long deep breaths and maybe take your gaze up to the sky. Keep your back leg very active. Slowly come out of your twist. Frame your front foot. Take your right foot next to your left, lift the hips and come back to downward facing dog. Find your breath. And if you like, find some movement. Really press your hands into the mat, shoulders away from the ears. And keep breathing. Same on the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and place the foot between the hands on the front of your mat. Find your low lunge. Drop the back knee and take your hands onto your knee again. Lift the upper body, but stay in your low lunge and find some movement if you like. Stretch it out. Curl your back toes under, lift your back knee, bring your hands in front of your chest in prayer position and slowly take your arms up and over to the outside of your left knee. Look up to the sky. Keep your back leg activated and keep breathing.
and your time on an exhale slowly come back to center frame the front foot and take your left foot next to your right lift the hips and come all the way back up to downward facing dog again find movement if you like and keep breathing to prepare for what's next Inhale, take your right leg all the way up. Bend your knee and place your foot between your hands. Keep your back leg lifted and take your arms up high for high lunge. Find balance. Find your breath. And then step your back foot on a 45 degree angle for warrior one. Straighten your front leg and keep your hips pointing towards the front of your mat. Inhale, find length and exhale slowly, descend your upper body towards the mat. Keep your left hand on the mat, maybe stack your back foot a little bit further towards the front and take your right arm up to the sky for twisted triangle. Keep breathing long deep breaths here. And twist out all that negative energy. Inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Frame your front foot. Bend your front knee. And bring all the weight into your front leg. Slowly start to lift the left leg up to the sky and prepare for half moon. Keep your left fingertips on the floor. And when you're balanced, take your right arm up to the sky. Keep your toes pointing towards the right side of the mat. Try to look up. And stay here in your half twisted moon. Slowly descend your foot back to the mat. Come to lunge. And when you're ready, plant your hands on the mat. Come to plank. Lift the hips back to downward facing dog. Find your breath. Keep breathing long deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth to let go of some heat. Opposite side. On your next inhale, take your left leg high up to the sky. Now bend your knee and place your foot between your hands on the front of your mat. Come to a high lunge or crescent lunge. Take your arms up high next to your ears, keep your back knee lifted and your toes curled under. Take a few breaths in your high lunge and when you're ready, step into warrior one. Keep your hips pointing towards the front of your mat and on an inhale, straighten the front leg. Find length and on an exhale, slowly descend the upper body to frame your front leg. Step your back foot a little bit further towards the front of your mat and slowly take up the left arm up towards the sky. Find balance and keep your right fingertips touching the floor. Long spine and maybe look up. Inhale. And on an exhale, come out of your twist, frame your front leg and start to find movement. Bring it all the weight into your front leg and take your right leg up towards the sky for half moon. Find balance. Slightly bend your front knee and take your left arm up towards the sky. Keep breathing and find a focus point. Inhale. And exhale, slowly come back to center. Step your legs into plank. Find your power. And then lift your hips up towards the sky for down dog. Stay here for a few breaths. Find your rhythm. And think of your intention. What are you letting go of? Inhale, roll forward. Drop your elbows onto the mat. And come into forearm plank. 
from here, we're going to take some hip dips. On an exhale, take your hips to your left. Inhale to lift and exhale, dip them to the right. Dynamically move back and forward like this or until you're tired. On your last one, come back to center. Slowly drop the belly, lift the chest for sphinx pose. Suck the navel into the ribs so it's no longer touching the floor. And really push your elbows into the mat, shoulders away from the ears, and even your toes firmly pushed into your mat too. Keep breathing. It's optional to drop the head. Now place your hands next to your chest, lift back up and come straight back to your child's pose. Either with your knees together in the center of your mat or your knees towards the outside of the mat. You can choose to have your arms out long in front of you or rest your hands on your feet behind you. Find your breath and find your rhythm. Remember your intention. On your next inhale, slowly look up, come back to center. And now take your feet to one side to come to sit on your bum in the center of your mat. Come to a seat of your choice, whatever is comfortable. Inhale, find length. Take your arms up towards the sky. And on an exhale, drop into your twist. Take your right hand to your left knee and your left hand behind your back. Keep your shoulders low and feel how on every exhale you get deeper into your twist. Keep breathing and look over your back shoulder. And on your next exhale, slowly come back to center. Same on the other side. Inhale, find length. Take the arms up and overhead. And exhale, drop the hands and come into your twist. Left hand on your right knee and right hand behind your back. Shoulders low, long spine and look over your right shoulder. Keep breathing. And on an exhale, slowly make your way back to center. Take your legs out long in front of you. Find length in the core, in your spine. Take your arms up and over and exhale, fold forward into your seated forward fold. Keep breathing. Inhale, find length and exhale all the way down. Relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. Now you can choose to keep your legs out long or you can bend your knees a little bit to make it more comfortable. Remember, there's no competition and every day is different. Inhale, slowly look up. Come to sit all the way back up and now open your legs into a V-like shape. Take them out long out wide, find length in the spine, take your arms up high and exhale, twist your core towards your left foot and slowly bring yourself all the way down. Grab your foot, your ankle, your shin or maybe your knee, wherever is comfortable for you. Listen to your body, you know your body best and keep your other foot or both feet actually, keep them activated. Take a few breaths more. And stay here as long as you like.
on an inhale slowly look up bring yourself up find length take your arms up high exhale twist your core towards the opposite leg and slowly bring yourself down grab your foot your ankle your shin or your knee and keep breathing this is a very intimate pose and grateful reflection what is it that you are letting go of this spring or maybe even this year what are you working on and how will you develop inhale slowly lift the head look up bring yourself all the way back up to the seat find length then close the legs come to lay flat on your back and hug your knees into your chest push the back into the mat And when you're ready, take the outsides of your feet, push your feet towards the sky and get into happy baby. Do whatever feels good for you here. Stretch out one leg and then the other, or maybe both at the same time. Maybe take them up overhead for a shoulder stand. Maybe take a supine twist or Texas tea, whatever feels good for you. And whenever you are ready, come to lay flat on your back, relax your feet, your hands, feel the weight of the shoulders into the mat, the weight of the hips, like a brick, get heavy, let go of the breath, and stay here in Savasana, You can stay here as long as you want. Repeat this sequence or maybe even combine it with another one. Remember, in this sequence we focused on a new beginning, twisting out the bad and breathing in the good. We set a new attention, we feel light, boost our immune system, awake, motivate in a playful way. Hope to see you soon again.